When you're in front of a client, do you hand them a product pamphlet or a company brochure? Yikes! I hope not. Keep watching to find out why. Christine Harrington here. Yep, I'm the Savvy Sales Lady. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your YouTube personal sales coach. Today's video is a four-part series called Sell by Design. Now, in today's world, your prospects and clients are marketing savvy. So, for you to be savvy in sales, you must have a specific plan for each prospect and client. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, at least not in today's market. And your company brochures and your product pamphlets are not the solution. Here are the four savvy selling steps. Analysis, awareness, solution, and ask. In this video, in the four-part series, we're gonna first focus on analysis. Oftentimes, salespeople make the wrong analysis that if the prospect comes to them to buy, cha-ching, easy, breezy sale. Wrong. Oftentimes, prospects haven't identified what they need. They just know what they want. So if you've had easy, breezy sales walk out your front door, chances are, this is why, when you analyze a prospect's need, you're actually putting the prospect's wants under a microscope. Some wants the prospect will disclose and some wants are hidden and perhaps he doesn't even know what they are. Finding those hidden needs will show the prospect you're a professional. And know this, I'm using wants and needs interchangeably because you know people buy because they either need something or they want something. Here's a sales pearl. Needs and wants equal reasons and excuses. If you give someone a reason to buy and an excuse to buy, chances are he'll buy. Here's a personal story. Many of you know that after my dad was laid to rest in 2013, I started working at the cemetery he was at. One day, a couple came in looking to buy two crypts. I took them around to the different locations where we had crypts, walked through with them the pricing of the crypt, and every time I talked about the crypts, they said that it was too expensive, they couldn't afford it. So in this one location, the wife turned to me and said, there's three names on the crypt front, what does that mean? And I said, well, in every crypt, you can have a full body entombed with cremain remains of another family member if you choose to do that. And I said, do you have another family member that you need to entomb? And the wife began to cry and shared with me that her adult daughter was terminally ill and dying of cancer. When I explained to her that we could easily have her entombed in either one of the crypts, either her husband's or her own, the price no longer became an issue and she bought both of the crypts. Now, had I not asked that compelling question, chances are they would have walked right out that door, gone to another cemetery, and someone else would have sold them three crypts instead of all they really needed was two. Here's the lesson. The couple was wrestling around in their minds how they were gonna be able to afford all of this. They came in window shopping, but they left with two crypts and a sacred place to bury their daughter. I gave them a reason and an excuse by asking one compelling question. So you find out your prospects needs and wants by asking compelling questions. The savvy salesperson will not sell on symptoms, but they'll ask questions to uncover the true need. Remember, you're asking compelling questions to gather information, not facts. And here's a sales pearl key. People buy what they want when they want it more than they want the money it cost. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a story to share? 
where you save the day? Will you share it with the community by putting it below in the comments? And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And remember, sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. Thanks for watching.